Yo, back another day. And today, we are uh, drilling out the holes and modifying the ZF for the adapter plate, uh, for the inline pro adapter plate kit. So, uh, they don't include the instructions, but you gotta drill a couple different bolt holes out on these for the bigger bolts that they send you. So you need to drill this one up here on the top of the bell housing. Uh, we're gonna have to cut most of this away to make room for the starter. This bolt hole is already drilled out. Um, I just did that. And there's one last one down here on the bottom you gotta drill out. And those are all the bolt holes that you gotta drill out on this. So we just finished cutting the area for the starter. Uh, it's gotta have a little room because the starter has a head on it uh, with the adapter plate. This should be enough, I believe. I kinda cut a little too far, but that's okay. Be fine. Um, I forgot to bring my starter up here to Andy's, but check out this truck that they're building. Twin turbo, mirrored kit, old school badass truck. Andy's got some pretty sweet stuff here. This is his personal drag Evo. Bar swap Mustang. He's got all carbon floors and everything in here. You probably can't really see. 750 cage, all wheel drive turbo Civic. The dog box. Mustang that Andy's building for himself right now. Evo. Another S2000, also with a ZF Inline Pro F Series adapter setup. Another Evo over there. K swapped MR2. He's got everything. LS350Z. All wheel drive Mustang dyno. If you ever need a tune, this is the guy for it. Master Link tuner here. Does a, has an engine building room back there. Wiring area over here. He's got everything also. He's got that bad boy right there. So he's been making a bunch of cool parts. So that dash mount that I was talking about that he made for us. Here's some building hands up here that he just finished. Uh, he's also has some parachute mounts. Uh, let me go see if I can find one of those for you guys. So here's one of the parachute mounts he's been making. Pretty sick and very affordable pricing. So this is your guy, if you guys need anything. Does lots of different stuff here. He's a one-stop shop, that's for sure. All right, so we're back at home and we got a couple things in the mail. We got these ASM rear flares. Uh, these are gonna look really good on the car. I'm gonna actually try to avoid using these if I don't have to, um, but they'll sit kind of something like that. Um, but if I can, I'm gonna try to avoid using these and just try to make the stock Cold fenders work with uh, the wheel fitment that we're gonna be using in the back of the car. Cause I really like stock body S2000s. I don't really wanna cut this up if I don't have to. So if I don't have to, I'm gonna try to avoid it. But worst case, I got those in case. So when I go to paint the car and everything, I have everything together so it can all be painted one color. Um, Cause the color we use sometimes doesn't match the best. Uh, we also got these side straps for the side of the car. Uh, these kind of go like in the back area right below where that um, over fender mounts. So they'd go kind of like right in this area and they add just like a little bit of definition. It makes the car a little bit fatter there. I think that'll look good with the overs if we end up doing that or the rear flares. All right, so we got the bottom end assembled, which is sweet. We got our new rods from Inline Pro. Pistons are all in, rings are gapped. Put all the head studs in. Started to put some of the timing stuff. Oil pump, winded tray. Uh, we got the head washing and the parts washer over there. Getting ready to get that with the cams and uh, get this thing together hopefully tonight so we can put it in the car this weekend. So we just got the head bolted down, got the most of the timing components all put on here now and timed where it's gonna be, except I just realized I forgot to put this inside here. So I gotta take this bolt out, slide the slide up, or the guide up inside the uh, head right here. That was something dumb that I missed. And yeah, but the rest of this stuff's all ready to go. I got the oil pan over there in the parts washer. I'm gonna throw the oil pan on so I can flip it over, uh, throw the cams and the valve uh, cams, other parts of the valve train on the head, and uh, get this thing sealed up. Mostly everything is together. Oil pans on, timing covers on. We got the cams sitting in here at the cam caps just loose. Getting ready to torque these down. Um, almost there. Super excited to get this done. Rip on this car again. Uh, I hope you guys are as excited as I am, because I know it's going to be wicked. Big shout out to Andy at A-Star for uh, assembling the bottom end on this motor for us and also helping me with any of my stupid questions assembling this. 
timing's all set. Let's get this uh, finished up so we can get it in the car hopefully this weekend. All right, look at this. We got it on the stand, most of the accessories back on, turbo manifold back on. Had to fix a couple cracks on there. Beautiful inline pro adapter plate bolted to the motor. Um, so you guys, if you don't know, there's three bolts on this side here that are countersunk for Allen heads. There is a bolt that comes through the backside, a through hole that bolts to the plate. And then on this side, there is also two through bolts. There's one right here, and then one lower one right there. Um, there's not really any instructions with this kit. Um, so I just kind of wanted to let you guys know about that. And we're about to get this clutch and flywheel set up on the motor so we can get the trans bolted to it. These Hondas have a uh, hood go straight up because they're doing so many engine swaps all the time. Yeah. <laughs> BMWs don't do that. <laughs> all the Honda fans are gonna come for you, Dylan. I know that has what's good. And as far as I can drive from all over the country, I don't have to worry about the car not. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> We're coming to get you. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'll leave this thing hooked up still because I know it's not fun back out. What'd you say? <laughs> so how easy is that BMW trans to install that compared to the uh C thousand trans? Terrible. We're putting it in. Terrible. It literally went in five seconds because it's like four feet long. That's how the S3000 trans is actually easy to get like in one from the front of the car. Like, just... You don't even have to do anything, just sit down and hang out. It's nice. It's gotta be no, don't leave. <laughs> it sounded so sad. Don't leave. Diddy. I have to be out here all by myself because the camera girl's usually inside. It's cold. It's all right. Cold. So the motor's in, uh, trans is in as well. We got the jack down here supporting up the trans right now. Need to uh, test fit this sweet trans mount that our uh, buddy Andy at A-Star Fabrication made for us. Check out the A-Star logo on the side there. Uh, we'll throw this up in there, it bolts to the stock cross member, and then you can actually utilize using uh, BMW mounts. So I got some aftermarket mounts to go on here and to reduce some of the vibration so it's not just solid mounted. But yep, we got the motor in, got some of the wiring harness hooked up and some of the hoses and stuff, but uh, I think we're gonna call it a day because uh, today was a long day. We definitely fought um, the adapter plate kit. The trans didn't really want to slide on. Uh, we ended up getting it enough and started using the bolts to kind of just pull it on evenly from each side, but it took a lot longer than it should have. So uh, really close. Um, gonna hopefully try to get everything buttoned up this week and uh, maybe get the car fired up late this week or next weekend possibly. Uh, we're trying to shoot for the Drift Indy opening day. Check it out. They uh, run an event down at Killcare. Drift Indy is a bunch of awesome dudes. And I uh, always have a great time when I go down there and drive with everybody. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully, maybe the next video will be a startup video. So, you guys have a good one. And uh, I'll see you guys all soon.